I saw a beautiful story about a grandfather who brought this big box that was gift wrapped down to the Seder. And he told the children that inside this box, I have something that is the key to the continuity of the Jewish people. The future of Klal Yisrael is right here inside this box. And they said, Zadie, what is it? What is it? He said, I can't show you until the Seder begins. Well, everybody was anticipating, what could it be? What is the future of the Jewish people that is right there inside that box? And after they made Kiddush, he said to the children, okay, you could go over and lift up the box. And they all ran over and they quickly lifted up the box and they found this huge mirror that was standing right there. And as all the children were looking directly at the mirror, they all realized that their Zaidi was telling them that the future of the Jewish people, the continuity of the Jewish people, the existence of Klal Yisrael to be able to continue what we're doing is right there within you. And the night of the Seder is the most important time for us to realize that the key to our existence is that our emuna, our growth in emuna within ourselves and within our families. You know, the Sefer Achinoch tells us that it's for exactly this reason that we have so many mitzvahs throughout the year that are zecher li etzies mitzrayim, to remind ourselves of the exodus of Egypt. Because that time period is when Hashem showed the entire world His incredible power. It's when Hashem turned nature upside down. It's when Hashem showed every single kofar that it's not true. There is a God that Hashem created the world and Hashem is continuing to maintain the world all the time. And the night of the Seder is when we have to talk about that. The night of the Seder is when we have to remind ourselves about that, to build our emuna, to build our belief in the Rabboni Shalom and that Hashem is running the world. And when it comes to telling over the story on the night of the Seder, we say, And typically we translate that as the more that you discuss the story that happened in Mitzrayim, that is a praiseworthy act. However, I saw quoted in the name of Rebelli Lepian something so beautiful. He said, perhaps it means the kohamar saper, the more that an individual talks about the story, the more detail that a person gets into in discussing the nisim and the specifics of what happened during Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim, the more that individual builds up their emuna, their recognition that it's true, it's real, there is a HaKadosh Baruch Hu running the world and Hareza Meshubach, then that individual becomes a praiseworthy person. Because now that person has built their amuna, now that person has grown in their faith, in their very clear recognition that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is running the world. And that is truly praiseworthy because their entire life is going to be different. Their entire view of the world is going to be through the glasses that Hashem is running the world. Hashem is in charge. Hashem is the one who's directing my life. The night of the Seder, let's remind ourselves and our families that this is the key to the amuna. Looking at the Nisim, reminding ourselves of Hashem's existence, and that is the key to the future and the existence of the Jewish people.